Welcome in, baseball fans, and here in New York, MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the New York Yankees. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So just about set now and pitching here today Garrett Cole always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons he may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working but if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day he's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. First big hit, one o'clock. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. Finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Man aboard, and here is Devers. And Devers hits that one. He's got it. One away. That is her. The first As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox, they're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt for a base hit get him moving off the mound if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it As a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, you know, and a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and there's two away. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept ball. coming after him. With it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. So now the DH spot, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida measures 5 feet 8 Double. inches, 190 pounds, and he was born in Japan. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one fouled off. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball still 0-2. Two. two outs. That one to first. Now he stop at first. Nicely done for the out. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. in the Bronx and towing the slab in this one Lucas Giolito what should we keep an eye on here well they're going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate important that the defense stays engaged in the game I think it's critical tempo is there if you work quickly it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged to make those plays and help you get through the innings DJ LeMayhew the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one 
LeMay Hugh, a multi gold glove award winner, a member of the 1000 hit club, and he was a second round pick back in 2009. Bounce to the right. He'll yep, do it himself. One up, one down. Batting second. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Ten two. Square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive and it paid off. <laughs> With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Juan Soto. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And first offering is fouled off. There's no way around it. Soto is one of the most exciting players in baseball. His hitting skills are so advanced, you'd think he played in Major League Baseball in a different life or something. And that one fouled off. The 2 No question about this one. It's out of here. A gigantic blast. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2 nothing. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball. And now they have it. To back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in the lineup beating off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here's Stanton now. Stanton, a powerful designated hitter, 34 year old vet, and he's a former All Star Game MVP. The 01. Foul ball. That one is absolutely belted. The brave reaching back towards the wall. And out of here. That one felt good. And they add a run. It's 3 0. Shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. A pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not. But I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throws to second. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That, that pretty much split the zone the down the middle. And those are the one ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Glaber Torres. Line drive, caught. Makes it to the bag himself, but he's back in time. Tough play right there as he had to catch an absolute bolt off the bat from a close distance. He was holding that runner on at first, so he really had to get in a good position before the ball was hit to make that play. Here's Alex Verdugo. 
Giolito, 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2012. Strike one. Rizzo leads off first with two down to the inning. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Rips one to right, and that will end the inning. Back in the Bronx. Now right here is Trevor the Story. Trevor. The Red Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Cole back to work. And a foul ball. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good below. And the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. But now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now, Willier Abreu. High fly ball out into left center field. Verdugo puts it away for the out. And there's one away. That is that. The left field. Tyler O'Neill. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open right. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swing and a miss, and he got him to Come chase. On. One they can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. On the ground to third, LeMayhew. In plenty of time to first, out number three. And the Red Sox leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two, and now Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You have good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. And next for New York, Austin Wells. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh and one.
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. This one popped up. Story sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Third, third baseman. baseman. DJ. DJ. Love Mayhew. Back to the top of the lineup. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Into center. Duran sizing this one up. Makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Up to the Aaron. Here is Aaron Judge. Judge. He's already homered here in this one. And Judge spoils that one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. His second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been buried out of here. Juan Soto now. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And a ground ball to first, and that's just foul. The pitch. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Casas makes the play. That is the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Back after this on the show. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. And now, Connor Wong. The pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right. You know, these Red Sox, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, boo. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Righty to the plate. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. He swings and fouls one off. The Yanks leading by five. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Oh, just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got it by him for the K. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. On the ground, and this should do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. 
These hitters have a long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.